everybody and welcome to Lady T's Things That Bling, Crafting and Creating with Lupus. So today I'm going to make a sequin pillow. You know the sequins that you can reverse, one side is silver, one side is white. Well, we're gonna try that today. And um, this is my first time, so I don't really know how it's going to turn out. But I just invite you to my channel. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you know of anyone who may be interested in doing a sequin pillow. I appreciate each and every one of you. We have reached over 300 subscribers, and I thank each and every one of you. And a special shout out to Miss Vanessa, who is the friend of my sister, Cynthia C. Fashion. I wanna say thank you to Miss Vanessa because she said that I would get subscribers and they would come quickly, and guess what? We're up to 326 subscribers. Yay! Okay, Vanessa, keep those words of life coming forth as we go ahead and watch this video of me doing a sequin pillow. I hope you like it. If you have any suggestions, um, let me know down the bottom. And if there's anything that you would like to see me do, also let me know. Put it in the comment section. All right, Miss Menda. Miss Ruth, God bless you, and we're going to make the sequin pillow. Yikes. <laughs> so here you see I have a sequin pillow here, and it's reversible. Actually, it's a sequin pillowcase that is reversible. So I have a silver side, and I have a white side. Sequins are so fun to play with. They are so much fun to play with. So as you can see here, I'm playing with this pillow. <laughs> okay, and I already had an image cut out. That's me and my husband, but I'm not sure I like that because our faces are so daggone long on there because I haven't figured out how to use the 11 by 17 paper yet. So I'm gonna use this Lupus Warrior. This pillow is gonna be for me. I throw it on my bed or whatever. So I'm just gonna use that one instead until I learn how to do the 11 by 17. Okay, so now having said that, I'm going to, actually was looking for um, something else to put on this pillowcase because it's kind of small. So, actually was looking for butterflies to put on there because that's one of the symbols for lupus is butterfly. So I just totally nixed that idea. <laughs> Here I am taking the pillowcase to the heat press. Now the heat press is set at 400 and I'm going to press the image on to the um, white side of the sequence and I'm gonna press it for 60 seconds. Um, if you look to the right, you can see that I have a cup in the mug press right now. I'm trying to multitask because today is my one of my brother's birthday and um, a request was made that I make this cup for his wife. So I did that. And now you see me trying to center the Lupus Warrior picture on the sequins. And I'm going to put the Teflon sheet over top of it. And I really should have put a piece of parchment paper in between there so that my Teflon sheet won't uh, soak up the image. And I've done that in the past. And let me tell you something. I still forget. I'm so goofy. All right. Let's move the camera a little closer so you all can see what's going on. There you go. So I pushed it all the way in. I think I need a clamshell. I think I want a clamshell. Yeah, I think I want a clamshell um, heat press. 15 by 15. I think this is a 12 by 10. I don't remember. So you can see me there taking the cup out of the mug press. I'm trying to multitask. And every time I take the mugs out, I try to be superwoman and peel it while it's hot. Y'all, I don't advise it, but you know. So this is my sister-in-law's mother who passed away this year. And she requested a mug that's the mug so I'll be taking that to her today 
if it is the Lord's will. And my heat press went the full 60 seconds. And you can see right through it that it took. And I'm so happy that it did. Let me get my fat arm out the way so you can see. There you are, Lupus Warrior. It came out clear. It came out precise. And I'm happy that it did. So now I'm just changing the sequence to the silver side so that you can see. Oh, you can't even see it. How about that? That's the whole point of the sequence. To be able to reverse it. Now, honey child, let me tell you, yes. See, you can't see it. Now I'm going to put it back to the white side. And ta-da, there we have it. So basically, I took a pillowcase that has double-sided sequins and I pressed the image onto the pillowcase at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. And the colors turned out bright and pretty. You can read what the words say. And that's what I, I'm really happy about. You can read the words. It's not mushed up so you can't. There you are. So the silver side hides it. And the white side shows it. I'm happy about that. So now I know I can do sequin pillows. Now the next step is to stuff the pillow. And truthfully, I almost forgot almost ended the video right there but there's the stuffing that I took out of a pillow that I bought um, I got the pillow from a store in my neighborhood because I didn't feel like going to Walmart or Family Dollar and the store is about three blocks from here and so the pillow was six dollars I don't know how much polyfill is um, but next time I go to Walmart I'm going to check it out to see the polyfill mm -hmm. so there I am stuffing a pillow now listen I've never stuffed a pillow before so this is my first time doing it and I'm realizing right here that I have to break the fill the filling I have to break it up Make sure it's in the corners, make sure it's right, it's popping. Because again, I said I've never done this before. So here we go. And I'm pulling pieces off to make the pillow so that it will be cohesive. And making sure that it's cohesive. So. 